guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review. It feels so weird to be saying that because I have not done a review in a while. So I know you guys love my review videos. Those are always like my most viewed videos on this channel. And today I'm bringing you a Tarte mascara review. This is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And oh, I just like pulled my hair. I discovered this mascara probably like a month ago when I got a little tester of it and I used up the whole tester and I fell in love with it because if you guys have seen my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara review, you would know how obsessed I am with that and I've also talked about it in so many videos, but I have become allergic to it unfortunately. Every time I wear it now, my eyes get really, really irritated and itchy, so I had to switch I had to switch and like find a new one and I ended up really liking this one. I think it gives a very similar effect. Maybe not quite as dramatic as the Too Faced one, but it's pretty dang close. So I think this one is a really great alternative because it is hypoallergenic. All of Tarte's products are made with really natural ingredients and not as toxic and so I figured this would be a good option for me because I heard that Tarte mascaras are good for people with sensitive eyes and things like that. So this one is supposed to be a 4-in-1 mascara. So basically it does four different things for your lashes, probably like length, definition, volume, no clumps, all that kind of stuff. And I really believe that that is true. Um, I have it on right now, obviously, and I find that it works really great for my eyelashes. Everyone's eyelashes are slightly different, so it may not work on yours, but it works really well on mine, and I know a lot of other people that like it too. So I do find that this is very lengthening, volumizing, separating, and it gives really good definition. I don't think it's clumpy at all. I mean, you have to be a little careful. You don't want to do too many coats because it can start to get clumpy, but that's like every other mascara too every mascara can get clumpy if you put on too many coats. I find that about two to three coats is good for me, um, but everybody's different, so you may find that you need more or less depending on your eyelashes, but it wears really well. I don't find that I, it smudges or anything underneath of my eyes or on my eyelid anywhere. I don't ever have that problem. When I'm applying it, sometimes I'll get a tiny bit on my eyelids, but that happens with almost every mascara I've ever tried. It's just the way it is. I just keep some Q-tips by my side and once it dries on my eyelid, then I just use the Q-tip and it wipes away and doesn't smudge or anything. But the key is to let it dry first because then it'll just get flaky and it'll fall right off. But you don't want to try to wipe off mascara off of your eyelids if it's still wet. You want to give it plenty of time to dry so that it comes off easily. The packaging is super cute too. It's kind of like a snake skin texture and it's interesting. It's definitely different from most mascaras. Most mascaras are just like a tube, but this is kind of like fabric wrapped around a tube. The brush, which I'll show you up close in the demo, is made out of brush fibers instead of like a plastic bristle and I like that better because I think that the product goes on a lot better on my eyelashes with these type of applicators. Maybelline uses a lot of these type of applicators with the brush fibers and I love Maybelline mascaras so I think this one's really a good option. If you like Maybelline mascaras you'll probably like this one and it's also cruelty free which is really amazing. I really don't like using products that test on animals. I just think it's really terrible. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all I want to say about it. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the demo now. This is what the brush looks like. The bristles are not made of plastic. Um, those usually work best for my eyelashes because for some reason the plastic bristles just don't work for me. It usually ends up making my eyelashes clumpy. I like this brush because it's not too big so I can really get into the um, corners, the inner, oh I can really get into the inner corners and the outer corners of my lashes without making a mess all over my skin with the mascara. And then I always do my lower lashes as well.
Okay, and then I'm just gonna do my other eye and I'll be right back. So this is the final result after I finish the other eye. Just really full, pretty, fluttery looking eyelashes. All right, guys, I hope you liked this review. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what product you want me to review next, and I will make sure I do that for you. And I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye!